Professor David here, and we're here on Kenny again. We're gonna make another video for you today. Guys, do you understand that carjackings are up? Kenny, when you go into a gas station and when you go into or get in and out of your car, do you really think about that somebody's gonna come up and carjack you? Most of the time, no. No, but it happens. Most people are not aware. Most people don't even know what to do in this situation. It's a scary situation. And then you have people really showing you nonsense. Anyway, we're gonna give you a few safety tips, all right? So let's go right into it. To another level. Let's hit it. To another level. You know, guys, some people are prepared when they're getting into a vehicle that something might happen. You know, watch this video. This video, this woman was ready. Are you ready? Come here, give me the fucking keys. Give me the keys right, right now. Now you got a guy that just stuck a gun in your face. You pulled up. You got your window down for whatever reason. I don't know why the hell you would have your window down this winter. But anyway, it may be even summer. You have your window down. Guys, stick a gun right in your face. You got people out there all right now trying to train people on YouTube, telling people to grab the barrel of the gun, rotate the hand, pull the gun from the attacker, and, and what? Use it on him? Guys, I tell you all the time, motion causes motion, okay? First of all, who says this guy gonna come with a long barrel gun? What if he has a short barrel gun? Now he has a short barrel gun and you follow the advice of these knuckleheads on YouTube telling you about survival and of the fittest and urban survival nonsense and you grab the gun, the man's gonna move too. He's not gonna stand right there. Motion causes motion. So as soon as you go that, what, what's gonna happen? The second I grab my gun, so what, oh, oh, maybe let me try left-handed. Cause maybe my left hand is better than my right. Huh? Because what's gonna happen? I'm grabbing the little barrel, I'm grabbing the little barrel, and my man is just pulling it right out of my damn head and blowing my head all over my back seat. This kind of crap don't make any sense, man. And it's easy for people to throw crap out there like that. But you're playing with people's lives, man. You can't disarm no man sitting in a car like this. Because the guy's gonna move, he's outside, he got all the leverage to pull. And where you gonna go? You got no leverage to pull. Even if you had the other gun, pull the other gun out. Even if you had the one with the law ballot, you grabbed it. I just got the, my hand scraped and cut up. This is a metal barrel. It has a, it has a sight on it. When he pulls the sight, it's gonna rip your hands up. You gotta deal with it. It's called the human element. It's part of the real deal. You just can't do what you wanna do, man. To another level. 